if you have the 14 to 17 um, or newer the 6.2 gas motor in a Ford and you have misfires or it's not running right or some random <clears throat> wrenches coming on I'll show you what the problem is these coils build a ton of corrosion in them this one was this was number five the misfire this is the one next to it that we pulled out watch watch the dust and corrosion that just comes out of this thing just full corrosion they they have um connectors a little connector up inside here that bridges between this spring and the actual coil connector <clears throat> so these are the pieces i'm talking about these pins go up inside there and they touch in the coil the coil contact and they make a bridge between the spring okay as i pick these out i use a pick to get them out because they're so stuck in there this is what came out of these coils look at this coil blown apart you cannot make these work they're shot every single one of them so this is why if you have one of these six twos pull the coils you don't have to do the plugs if you're low mileage pull the coils and go service these <laughs> clean them up spray some sort of um there's some electric contact um, cleaner it's like red or take them out pull them apart and put dielectric grease in there and get that corrosion out of there it's a problem i hope this helped you out guys and uh get these trucks serviced because these are expensive you're looking at over 100 bucks a piece up to 200 if you're getting ford ones i mean you do some math that's eight cylinders you're looking at 1600 bucks and even if you get them for a hundred dollars a piece don't buy junk try to go get a denzo one or a, a high quality one um like i said service these things up because it's going to cost you a lot of money in the future it fully corrodes like crazy um <clears throat> we've seen enough of these it's to the point where um let's see this one's fresh off look at that it's to the point where it'll take out the the pcm the computer it'll misfire so bad and these things will arc out and um <clears throat> They've taken out PCMs, um, just weird stalling or, you know, wrench lights, misfire codes. Um, so that's the first thing you check. This truck only has 88,000. We've seen it with 70,000 on them. Um, they definitely need, the coils need service properly. When you go in and take them apart, um, you're going to see up inside here, when you take your, your boot off, you're going to see up inside here. Um, you won't be able to see it in this video, but... There's also a short connector pin that is only like about, it's teeny, say quarter, quarter inch, half inch at the most. And it's a, a brass pin that goes up in between here and does the contact between here. It'll be corroded terribly. So I don't know if you'll be able to clean it good or not. They do like NGK has a kit you can buy with just those pins and stuff, but getting these clean up inside there properly is the next challenge. So if you're gonna do a service on one of these trucks, it's 16 spark plugs, um, and you need to service the coils. And if you have one of these trucks that you have about 50,000 miles on it, you don't have to do spark plugs, I would pull the coils and service them. All you need is an eight millimeter wrench or ratchet, <clears throat> and you'll pull both the, um, the connection here, the connection on your throttle body, this whole um this pulls back you have two of these wire connectors on your um your intake just for your throttle body intake and it it pulls back and pulls off um and then the coils are held on with an eight millimeter you got to push your yellow or your red tab back and push down and release it and you can twist these lightly twist these lightly and pull them off just like that and then you push this back, you got the tab, you pull it, push the tab down, push that back, take your eight millimeter out, twist gently, pull it up, <clears throat> see if you can service them before they're a problem. You know, clean them out and use some good um, dielectric grease or something on that pin to try to stop this before it gets to be a problem. So I hope this helps you guys out. I mean, we've seen enough of this already. This is the, I think, fourth truck in this year that's kind of having issues and one of them took the PCM out from, you know, the, the coils firing wrong. 
So hope this helps you guys out. God bless y'all. And um, please like and subscribe.